And we are about to witness a vicious exhibition of combat with the Viking Raiders, Eric and Ivar. Odin's favorite sons raid and get paid as the order of the day for these two utter powerhouses with the motor and athleticism of men half their size. Plus, I hear ladies love Ivar. I've heard that as well, Corey, but let's just hope they stick to the raid part for this match and take it from there. I have a feeling we're going to need a scorecard to keep track of all the action we're about to see in this one, guys. Oh, they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Oh, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. How can anyone navigate the havoc of a tables, ladders, and chairs match? You need to stay sane. Having a level head will help you find ways to keep yourself out of harm's way and areas of opportunity. Focus is crucial in a match as dangerous as TLC. Into the corner now. Into the ring now. Jawbreaker! Call it down and Ouch! Oh, man! Mistake made by Ivar. Shot to the midsection connects. And Ivar, the Viking Raiders look as focused as ever here in this one. Aggression personified. The Viking Raiders never turn it off. If you find yourself in their way, well, good luck to you. The raid is on here tonight. Willing to bet the action we're about to see in this tag team tornado match will be unlike anything we've seen in recent memory. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Great reaction from Ivar. Back into the ring. What a counter. Springboard. Missed timing with that springboard. Vicious right forearm. Dropped across the top rope. In a TLC match, there's really no way to avoid getting a taste of either a T, L, or C. So, in my humble opinion, the best thing you can do is make sure you get the opposition back for every shot they get you with. It's all about mutually assured destruction in a match like this. Punch. 
Michaels hooks it up. Nice teardrop suplex. Toss. Oh, knee right to the jaw. Good night. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. He's been placed in the corner now. Jawbreaker! Call it down. Uh-oh. Mistake made by Ivar. Oh, uppercut. That'll knock you silly. And we just saw a flurry of strikes here. Get on over here. I'm going to break your back. He's on his heels a bit now. Would you come into a TLC match expecting anything less, Cole? Beginning that all-important climb up the left. No! Oh! Sure. I can't even wrap my head around this. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Take off from the top with a splash. Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxon's a very music. Are you kidding me? And that could provide all the breathing room you need to climb a ladder. Oh, and a chair shot the liver. This could be the beginning of the end. What a shot. He's looking to get up that ladder, guys. The long way. He is fixing to take it all here. It is all or nothing at this point. Caught with a punch. Oh. <laughs> Strong Irish whip. Oh, my God. Hanging on for dear life. No letting go now. He climbs into the ring. It's one thing, though, Cole. Pulling it down, totally different. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike. Hands on the prize, and he got it. What a ladder match. Here are your winners, the team of Shawn Michaels and Randy The Viking Raiders looking to make their presence known in this match here tonight. Uh, I don't think their presence is ever questioned, Cole. From their entrance to the ring of the bell, the Viking Raiders are all gas and no brakes. I don't know if anyone can match the sort of intensity that Eric and Ivar possess. If he had let me finish, Corey, that's where I was going. But to add to our point, it's not just the imagery that establishes the Raiders' presence, but also their unbelievable athleticism. But remember, we're going tornado style here tonight, which means we won't see any tags in this one. Everybody's leaving. Back drop suplex. Climbing the ladder now. Working his way up the ladder now. This is a critical moment. And the end is within reach here for one of these superstars. Going for all the glory here, guys. Impact. He's heading back to the ring. Oh, God. And this one might be headed ringside. He takes control. Get on over here. I'm going to break your back. Well, you have to know, what does one have to do to get the upper hand in a TLC match? Does it simply come down to who's more effective with weaponry? I mean, yes, but that's still a strategy in and of itself, Cole. Tables, ladders, and chairs each have their own uses as implements of destruction, so know how and when to use each. 
reach. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me. That aggressive style of the Viking Raiders being met in kind there. Yeah, that's HBK putting his in-ring acumen to good use. Shades of the OEC dub as a candlestick is introduced to the proceedings. He gets back into the ring. Michaels hooks it up. What a shot. Straight brutality coming right at you. Attempt. Lift off. Good lord. Taking flight. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Oh, close line. Teardrop suplex. Grabbing a hold of the arm. Oh, Michaels hit it. Sweet chin music. That might be enough to put him away for good. Anything to keep the competition from climbing that ladder before you. Elbow drop. Piercing. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. Quick return to the ring. Savage with bad intentions. Oh my God, that's got to hurt. He's doing anything it takes, but he's still got to ascend the ladder. Look at that snatch of victory here, guys. I think it's Joe Coffey is a tough-as-nails competitor with an ironclad resolve in the ring. No matter what you throw at him, this ruthless grappler just keeps coming at you. And he comes at you with the intent to cause real harm. There's no sign of humanity in the way he attacks his opponents. The Scotsman isn't just looking to bruise, he's looking to scar. If Coffee has his way, this match will end in a decisive and brutal victory for him. But he's got the heartbreak kid standing in his way. Shawn Michaels is a spectacular talent who matches his egotistical claims with unmatched in-ring performances. When you square off with HPK, you better be on your A-game because he'll come at you with everything he's got.
Yeah, I may not like how Michaels demands to be the center of attention and thinks the world revolves around him, but I'm not going to deny his talents. He's convinced he's destined to be an all-time great, one of this industry's very best, and like him or not, he is already well on that path. Shawn Michaels. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Quick shoulder up. Better hold off on the victory parade. Great counter. Get on over here. I'm going to break your back. The wherewithal to counter HBK. Knee right to the midsection. Push. This is bad. Joe Coffey is bleeding. Ow. Foot, meat, back. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Michaels pulling out all the stops. He knows now's the time to turn up the aggression. What a boot! The pace is quick and courtesy of Shawn Michaels. This can't be how Joe envisioned tonight going. Oh, strong impact! with a punch. I can hear the band playing already, gentlemen. HBK's name. Swing champ music going nowhere! Michael's got it! Can he end it? Launching. Splash! Ah, Sean can't be stopped now. Momentum is the best friend of the Heartbreak Kid. Joe facing a beatdown. And HBK is in the driver's seat right now. High risk. HBK from the top. No one did. And this is going to be it. And that's all she wrote. Bianca Belair in action, a determined woman who has quickly become one of the most decorated superstars in WWE. Setting a record pace for her time as a champion. Even when Belair reaches the top, she stays hungry. It's that unwavering motivation that makes Bianca such a threat. No doubt, Byron, that Belair is looking as motivated as ever tonight. And Trish has no doubt come into this one focused and prepared for a real fight ready to prove once again just how great she really is. I think that's how Trish approaches every match. She never slips when it comes to bringing the intensity. Look at the power of Bianca Belair. Power slam! Each attack is just flaunting the incredible power this competitor possesses. And the intensity of each attack is only getting more furious. And a lift up power bomb. And when you can manhandle your opposition like this, you become a lion playing with its food. Power bomb. And you are seeing someone who is doing anything they want at will. Down with a power bomb. And there's no two ways about it. This is dominance, gentlemen. This is not just exhibiting your power. There's certainly some arrogance behind these attacks. Power bomb, planet. When is enough enough? We get the point already. Bianca Belair, there's the power. A number of 
Several clotheslines from Bianca. Stratus having trouble shifting the tides. Trish looks to have been well scouted. Oh, and a forearm smash. And Stratus got the full force of that blow. Yeah, Belair was staking her claim as the EST there. Trish Stratus thrives on the adulation of the WWE Universe, of the critics, even of her opponents. I honestly think she needs to drown all of that out here and just focus more on getting the job done. We certainly know that she can get the job done, Corey. And that's another focused attack to her torso area. Backbreaker. Ouch. Belair's got her in her sights. The EST looking to secure the win. KOD. Belair displaying power. There's two. work. Here is your winner, Bianca Belair! Belair picking up the win in this one. Obviously, this is not a great night for Trish Stratus. It's tough to believe Trish suffered defeat, but in the end, she had nowhere to go. to remember, Michael. In a tables match, doesn't matter what table you put your opponent through, including our announce table. Don't say that too loud, Corey. I'd prefer to keep our work here. Very clear, thank you very much. Oh, wait a minute. Since when does what we prefer matter to these superstars? Actually, Byron, that was a good point. Bottom line is one way or another, somebody's going through a table tonight. Big clothesline. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Ooh, clothesline deliver. He's going for it all. Watch out. Crushing impact on the splash. Randy Savage, the cream of the crop. Few bring the intensity like Randy Savage. Oh, look out. Oh, that's it. What a splash. Taking a chance one more time and landing with incredible impact. Here we go. Uh -oh. Rough landing. Paying it back with their own counter. But Boogeyman still has to do more to get this fully in his favor. Intercepted by the Boogeyman. Counter after counter. Close line. And what kind of superstar is typically favored in a tables match? The smart ones. It takes a surprising amount of planning to put someone through a table. If you can improvise, you're going to be in good shape. Oh! <laughs> and a clothesline. Clothesline! Looking for a high-risk, high-reward situation. Soaring! Big collision on the splash. <laughs> oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, it is aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. He's back into the ring. And returning to the ring. He reverses it. Oh, come on. This superstar taking things way too far. Heads out of the ring. What's next? It's a table. I'm not sure what he's scheming, but it can't be good. He returns to the ring. Caught with a lariat.
Oh, look at that scope slam. And after that, you can feel the macho madness growing. Oh, God. Macho man getting set. From the top rope. Elbow drop to the heart. Pinpoint. Devastation from Savage. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Oh, runs right into the table. He's doing some dangerous redecorating. I think the table really ties it all together. Finds a counter for Savage. A solo all the way to the outside. A little showboating from Boogeyman. And he goes into the ring. Big forearm. Oh, uh, using the top rope as yeah. an advantage. You ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Looking wobbly in the corner. Things went from bad to worse. Bam! Answering back! Savage with amazing reflexes. Putting his opponent in a hazardous position. Whenever Furniture gets involved, it's bad. From the heavens. Knockout victory. This one is over. show what these superstars are made of. You're either the hunter or the prey here. Sometimes both, depending on how long the match lasts. Which reminds me, stamina and conditioning are huge in a steel cage. Well, isn't stamina a factor in every match, Corey? Oh, true, but you don't have to scramble to the top of a bunch of steel mesh in every match or pull somebody down off of the cage either. The steel cage offers some very unique challenges and opportunities. Just another insane display of power. Slam! And these attacks do a lot more than just wear you down. They get to you mentally as well. Look at this power from Bianca Belair. There is a hunt happening right now, and the prey is helpless. How strong! What a press! This absolutely brings new meaning to ragdolling your opponent. Slam! One is enough, enough. We get the point already. She's getting herself in the zone, but she shouldn't hesitate much longer. Ah, just a deadlift into a back suplex. And right now, this is just one hell of a beating happening. 
Great strength being shown here. Inverted atomic drop, not finished yet, Byron. Oh, how about the leg drop combo? Any words of wisdom for a competitor trapped inside a steel cage? You must find ways to use the harsh confines and the sheer size of the cage to your advantage. Throw your opponent into, maybe even off of the cage to inflict maximum pain. Make your biggest obstacle your biggest asset. Belair able to adapt. This is going to be stiff, vicious backdrop suplex. Well, they're muscling up her opponent. Oh, a deadlift power slam. The power of a deadlift into a military press. Wow. Walking Incredible. around the ring. And a slam. And the scary thing is, these attacks are being done with great ease. Arm ringer and met with a right hand. Shotzi kindly requests that you never wake up. Shotzi got it. Can she end it? Whoa! You gotta be kidding me. Everyone here is in shock. Was not able to seal the deal with her best move. Now she's asking, what more can I do? She's making that ascension up the cage. Blast off. Big mistake there, Corey. Oh, she knows that now. Jumping suplex. Here she goes up the side of the cage. From the top. Wow, oh, she lands hard. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Places her right in the corner. Bianca Belair with a strategically placed shot. And Belair gets beat to the punch. Ducks through. Up and over. Celia Del Sol. And she thwarts the pin attempt in one. Somehow still has the energy for a quick kick out. Bianca Belair, there's the power. A number of clotheslines from Bianca. Oh, Man. solid form. Belair goes behind. How about with a glam slam? And Belair is making a statement right there about what happens when you go toe to toe with the best. These women have been dismantling each other since the opening bell. Shotzi is really falling behind. Yes. Yeah, Bianca Belair has her up. The county. Can Shotzi come back from that? Bianca Belair and the KOD. Belair might have this in the back. Two. And there's the survival of this steel cage match.